no problem with jobs in Trinidad and Tobago, according to Managing Director of the Development Consulting Center, Richard Solomon. Instead, he is suggesting that people may have difficulty getting work because there is a mismatch between the nature of the qualifications received, subjects being studied, and the jobs needed. So we have a pipeline that feeds qualified people. Right. So whether it be vocational, which we don't do enough of, in my opinion, um, or other kinds of qualifications. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of that, the demand side, that is not, it isn't aligned. So many people are thinking, well, if I go and study whatever it is, electrical, mechanics, because you talked about vocational, mm -hmm. there should be a job somewhere out there waiting for me. Maybe you have to make it. He argues that those who go to study are in many instances unrealistic in their hopes for finding a job. Mr. Solomon says, for instance, many people opt to study business, but he asks whether this choice was properly researched. Mm, which businesses are you going to administer? Uh, do we have enough businesses to be administered? The answer is obviously no. So you will hear the story of somebody saying, I have a master's degree and I'm doing you know, something that is significantly below that. And I understand, you know, understandably so, they're quite upset. But no one created a job. You know, this is not Walmart. In Walmart, you, you take one off the shelf and the maker makes one. Nobody created a job when you went into the university system. That's just not how economies work. Mr. Solomon says there are over 13,000 small and mid-sized enterprises in Trinidad and Tobago, and he believes more should be created. He is encouraging young people not to look for a job in someone else's business, but to create one and look for the widest market available.